And a penalty apiece. Start things out. Yeah, we've spoken about that penalty before where you just close your opponent's grip down and you don't do anything positive as a result of it. Strong gripping is part of judo. You want strong gripping, but you have to do something positive. Negative gripping is not allowed in judo. No. Sasha Mamedovic missed his chance to be IJF commentator. <laughs> 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 Decided to go for the coach's chair instead. I'm not going to let him forget that. <laughs> he embarrassingly came and told me about the coach's uh, coaching job. He said, hey, man, I'm really sorry, but I've just been offered a job coaching Canada. <laughs> And since then, I've pretended that this would have been a much better gig for him. <laughs> Every time I see him, I tell him how, how disappointed I am in him. <laughs> He's doing a great job in the Canadian team. Works well for him, and he's much better suited Matt side than up here in the Mike heavens. side? Well, we, we'll get him one day, I'll, you know. Even if, his own, if only as a guest presenter. <laughs> He's got his hands full at the moment. He's got some good young up-and-coming judoka as well to slot into the team and take forward. Both fighters with a penalty apiece. Minute 50 left to go. Liking the stuff from Bushim and Shinar. And actually now, Dorshan has picked up her second penalty. So she at these Bushim and Pinard leads Dorshan by two to one. Good exchanges here of Ashiwaza. I'm feeling the way they've come to grips that somebody's going to pull something here. Nah, it just kind of collapses to the tatami. Canadian goes right to work. Drops in a Stemi Waza, but just a bit untidy there. Still isn't penalized. And then she went some dashi barai. As George Sharam went in for maybe a Seonage. 27-7. Seconds left, and now it's all evened up. Two penalties apiece. This one really could be headed for golden score with 12 seconds left on the clock. I believe a bit of conditioning is coming into, uh, into the game here. See, it would have been far less stressful 
for Sasha to have been up here. You can <laughs> see it written all over <laughs> his face, you know. <laughs> Calm down, Sasha. It's in Kathy's hands. She can deal with it. <laughs> You're a cruel taskmaster, Sheldon. <laughs> Well, Boschman, Perard kind of let uh, Dorsen right back into it. And that was a pretty good attack there by Blue. Yeah, big Kosoto attempt. Go nope. Dorsen had, had a glimpse at Osai Komi there. Good look by the Canadian. Dorsen just sort of dropped knees in there. Canadian goes for Os. Kosoto, Dortrand dives in. The intent is there. I just don't know right now that the conditioning to actually pull off a throw here. Might come down to somebody just making a mistake. Another entry there by Dorshren. She's actually looking better from that standpoint. Another one of those. They could one more. And it may not take that. Erdana Todd Kishigbat is the Mongolian coach who's just screaming for a passivity penalty to be given to Bosham and Pinard. David and I are going to be of the same opinion here. This is going to be harsh. Because they both made such big efforts here, but. It's Catherine Bouchema Pinard who's given the That's gonna passivity sting. penalty. So close. That's going to sting. I can't believe that Catherine Bouchema Pinard has still got sufficient enough about her to smile at the end of that because that's heartbreaking. <laughs> the Mongolian fans are eating it up. And they've got two of their men in contention for bronze medals as well. Fifth place finish for Catherine Boshima Pinard. No, no shame in that at all. A good effort from the Canadian. A long day, 55 fighters in there. Thank you. 